Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, I want to talk about Bitcoin and crypto. Of course, I'm going to give you guys an update on what's exactly happening in the markets today. So we actually saw Bitcoin a few hours ago um, dropping down, right? About yesterday sometime, okay? Uh, we actually saw Bitcoin drop back down to about $23,000. So we actually saw Bitcoin drop uh, below $24,000 once again because we know it happened um, before right a couple of days ago okay and obviously it spiked back up um, so Bitcoin yes guys we did in fact see it drop back down to 23k and then it did in fact have a bounce back up so you know ever since we had this massive pump up for Bitcoin right when Bitcoin had this pretty decent pump up all the way to you know $25,000 Okay, ever since then, guys, right, you guys can clearly see that Bitcoin is still holding up really well. Okay, yes, you know, Bitcoin has, in fact, had a few rejections. Okay, it went back down all the way to $23,000 and then, you know, it bounced back up. Okay, and then it sort of consolidated a little bit, went on the side for a little bit, okay, for quite some time. And then it did, in fact, have another rejection, a slight one, nothing too crazy, dropped back down. And then, in fact, did bounce back up. And then we saw it have this downtrend okay so it was slowly going back down all the way down to twenty three thousand dollars and then and now is in fact bouncing back up so if you guys really look at it okay bitcoin is in fact sort of having this um support level right now okay to, um above you know twenty four thousand dollars pretty much right yes sometimes it will in fact you know slightly drop back down below 24k you know we'll see it drop back down to you know 23.5 or 23.6 thousand dollars but overall okay bitcoin is in fact having this support level right now okay that's exactly what i am seeing you guys can clearly see that um and i told you guys as many times right if we do in fact see bitcoin okay you know pump back up to twenty five thousand dollars, okay and it does in fact go back up this um resistance line right here okay we will of course see bitcoin um pump back up to you know twenty six thousand dollars $27,000, okay, even, and of course, $30,000. I 100% see that happening if Bitcoin breaks above um, this resistance line, okay? So that's uh, my personal opinion, okay? So um, Bitcoin is, in fact, pretty much consolidating, okay? It's pretty much going on the sidelines, okay? It's going up and down, and this just pretty much shows you guys how volatile, you know, Bitcoin really is. You know, we're obviously going to get days like this. Um, if I really just go... Um, and zoom out and show you guys the daily chart okay um you guys to see that bitcoin you know goes on the side a fair few times right it does in fact consolidate um you know a fair few times okay every now and then we do in fact see bitcoin you know go on the side okay um moving on the sidelines you know it is in fact consolidating okay we're not always going to see bitcoin you know pump and dump um you know some days it does in fact consolidate right and we saw okay couple months ago bitcoin was in fact consolidating for a few months for a really really long time okay um and we might not actually see that happen you know it's only been a few days you guys can see how small this one is compared to you know the one a couple months back right when bitcoin absolutely dropped back in november all the way to pretty much january so that was in fact about two months just a little over two months um we saw bitcoin pretty much stuck um, pretty much at $16,000, right? And a lot of people were in fact getting bored with Bitcoin. A lot of people were wondering where's Bitcoin going to be heading, okay? And boy, did Bitcoin pump, right? It absolutely pumped up to the upside. So yes, guys, Bitcoin, in my opinion, is still holding up pretty well. If Bitcoin does in fact break up this uh, resistance line, okay, above $25,000, we will in fact see Bitcoin, okay, um, pump back up to you know twenty six thousand dollars to twenty seven, and of course it's going to be reaching thirty thousand dollars. Like I've, you know, I've been telling us that many times, right? Um, but right now, guys, the cryptocurrency market is in fact having a slight, you know, bounce back up right now. Okay, Bitcoin is in fact having a slight bounce back up, like what I showed you guys. Okay, um, it was in fact falling, but it's it is in fact you know having a bounce back up right now. So it's back up at twenty four thousand dollars, which is great to see. Still holding up pretty well, in my opinion. So it's up 1.2% for the past 24 hours for Bitcoin. For Ethereum, it's up 1.3%. Uh, okay, BNB is having 
um, are pump as well, 1.7%, XRP is pumping 1.5%, Cardano 1.3%. So you also see that a lot of altcoins are in fact, you know, bouncing back up today. Polygon is up over 3%. You guys can see Dogecoin 1.7%, Solana 1.5%, Polkadot 2.3%, Shiba Inu today 5.8%. Okay, so that's great to see. Um, so you guys can see Chainlink pumping 5.1%. So yeah, um, compared to yesterday, obviously um, the crypto market is in fact bouncing back up. Okay, the reason why we saw a dip yesterday, okay, in the crypto market was because, you know, the US market was in fact having a drop, which obviously caused um, other markets to drop, like the crypto market, right? Um, but everything is in fact bouncing back up. And I'm telling us this right now, okay, and I've been telling us this many times that this is the perfect time right now to buy into crypto. I'm talking into Bitcoin and just into cryptocurrency in general, right? This is literally a big opportunity right now to get into crypto guys okay if you guys you know haven't invested into cryptocurrency yet i highly suggest you guys okay and this is obviously not financial advice but this is literally guys okay the perfect time right now to get into crypto we are still in a bear market okay and of course guys right of course you know every altcoin including bitcoin is down massively even though yes it's been pumping for the past few weeks but still Okay, we are down. Okay, if we go to Bitcoin, let's just say, right? If we go to Bitcoin, we go to the uh, all-time chart, let's just say, right? You guys can clearly see how much Bitcoin has dropped, right? Bitcoin's all-time high was, in fact, at about six, over $67,000, almost seventy k, And we saw Bitcoin absolutely dropping all the way down to pretty much $15,000, just below sixteen k. Okay, and yes, Bitcoin is, in fact, having... A slight bounce back up right now okay it's currently at twenty four thousand dollars um but still okay you guys can clearly see we are still in a bear market bitcoin is still down heaps from its previous all-time high so this is in fact the perfect time right now to buy into bitcoin right and not just bitcoin but other altcoins okay in the market okay look at ethereum right ethereum has dropped massively look at that check that out okay it's still a perfect time right now to buy into ethereum right um let's look at something like let's just say xrp go to all and boom you guys can clearly see we are still down a lot right so a lot of old coins right now are in fact dirt cheap guys that's what you guys have to understand we are still in the accumulation stage right now okay this is obviously the time to accumulate right to at least dollar cost average i've been literally telling you guys that and begging you guys look at cardano this is our perfect example right that we are still early even though yes cardano has in fact been pumping for the past you know few weeks it's still at 39 cents below one dollar so obviously it's a great time right now to buy some cardano okay it really is look at this right we are still down guys a lot cardano's like lowest point was in fact at 24 cents so now it's at 39 cents but still you know, there's no difference, guys, right? It's still down massively, right? So it's a perfect time right now to buy some Cardano. Now, let's move on. Look at something like uh, Polygon. Now, Polygon, okay, I'm not going to lie. It has, in fact, been bouncing back off for the past, you know, few weeks. It's been, you know, pumping. Look at this, right? This is different, right? Finally, an old coin that's actually, you know, pumping up to its previous all-time highs, but not quite, right? Not quite. Um, So Polygon is, in fact currently at a dollar and 40 cents its all-time highs was in fact at 2.7 dollars okay so almost 2.8 dollars um and you know i think right now okay is still a perfect opportunity to get into polygon right it's not even close to its um all-time highs even though you guys can clearly see that you know polygon has in fact been pumping for the past few months you know its lowest was in fact around 34 cents which is crazy, right? Back in uh, June, okay? So if you invested into Polygon back then, you would have been up in profit by now, obviously. So I've been telling us this many times that old coins are dirt cheap. This is, okay, your biggest opportunity right now to make some life-changing money. So I really want you guys, okay, if you guys are watching this video right now, I really want you guys to just invest, okay, into Bitcoin and crypto. This is obviously not financial advice, okay? So please always do your own research. But this is for the people out there that have been, you know, 
debating whether to invest into crypto. I'm telling you guys right now, this is literally your once in a lifetime opportunity to get into crypto at a low price because guys, the year 2024, I think that's going to be too late to start investing into crypto and start accumulating and whatnot, right? Because that is when the next crypto bull market will in fact happen, okay? The Bitcoin halving, I've told you guys this many times, right? The Bitcoin halving is going to happen um, in the year 2024. And once the halving happens for Bitcoin, we will in fact see Bitcoin pump up like crazy to the upside, of course. Okay, it's going to be reaching a new all-time high. I think it's going to reach easily $100,000. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, it's going to easily reach $100,000 and above that, right? It's going to be reaching a new all-time high in the year 2024 to the year 2025, right? So you guys have to really think about it this year alone, okay? In 2023, of course. This year alone is literally the only year that you can buy a lot of these, you know, old coins, including Bitcoin, at a cheap price. They are literally dirt cheap right now, especially old coins, right? Pretty much every old coin, guys, okay? If you go to any chart for any old coin, it's pretty similar, right? You guys will see that, you know, let's go to Avalanche real quick. You guys will see that there is, in fact, a all-time high, okay? It reached an all-time high, and then it, you guys will see just a massive breakdown, every pretty much every old coin okay has the same chart so still okay we are still down a lot guys you guys have to understand that we are still in the accumulation stage right now so please understand this guys and please understand that this is literally your only opportunity right now this year alone in 2023 your opportunity okay to get into crypto at a cheap price right um at a good time for sure, right? Because we're still in a bear market. We're still in the accumulation stage right now, okay? And, you know, this is probably going to be your only opportunity, right? To get into crypto um, at this time, at a good time, right? Because, you know, I really do believe personally, okay, once we see Bitcoin and other altcoins pumping massively, okay, in the next crypto bull market, we will never see, you know, Bitcoin back at $24,000. We'll probably never see Ethereum at $16. Hundred dollars. We'll probably never see XRP, you know, below one dollar. Even Cardano, right, below one dollar. Even Polygon, right. Uh, Dogecoin. We'll probably never see Dogecoin at eight cents ever again. We'll probably never see Solana at twenty-four dollars ever again, or even Polkadot at seven dollars. Okay. So this is literally your best chance right now to get into crypto at a good price and at a perfect time. Okay. Please understand that, guys. Don't time the market, okay? You can time the market, but it's really difficult. And trust me, it will in fact, you know, screw with your emotions. So I highly suggest you guys to pretty much just dollar cost average, right? Invest into the market, right? Invest into crypto every week or every two weeks or every month, right? Monthly. It's really up to you personally. I do it every week, okay? Pretty much. Um, so be excited about that, guys. Okay, and I've showed you guys this chart before for Bitcoin. But Bitcoin, okay, it will in fact have, you know, potentially a dump, okay, and then it's going to massively pump up. So I still think, you know, for us to see, you know, a 30K Bitcoin, right, for Bitcoin to, you know, go back up to $30,000, I still think that still stands, right? I still think that's a possibility right now for Bitcoin to go back up to $30,000, guys. Okay, I really do. That's just my personal opinion. But guys... I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already. I really would appreciate that. Um, and guys, I will in fact keep you guys updated on what's going to happen with Bitcoin. But it looks like Bitcoin right now is in fact um, having this support level and this resistance line. And I told you guys that if Bitcoin does in fact break above this resistance line, okay, we will in fact see Bitcoin, you know, pump to pretty much 28 to at least $30,000, okay, at least that's just my opinion so you guys let me know in the comments down below what are your personal thoughts about bitcoin right now i'd love to know but on that guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i hope you guys all enjoyed it give thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video have a good one guys